this is Danielle Scow, your Pampered Chef Consultant. I am really excited to do this video for you today with the holidays coming up. Let's be honest, none of us are going to get out of cookie making this holiday season. It's inevitable. So Pampered Chef has made so many different tools to make cookie making so easy. So right now I want to show you just some of the things that they have available. So this, I said so a lot. This marble rolling pin is amazing. It makes rolling out dough so easy and the dough hardly sticks to it at all. I don't even really have to flour it. And the weight of the marble rolling pin will just roll out the dough very quickly. The other thing is this big baker's mat. Whenever I'm making sugar cookies, I hate it because I get I feel like I get flour everywhere. This contains it into one space and it's also great for making your own pizzas. But it has different sizes so you know how big to make the dough and it has measurements on it. And it's a non-stick so you're not getting dough stuck to your counter. All right, so let's get started. So the first tool that I wanna show you is the rolling cookie cutter. Yes, it works. That's my number one question is people are like, does it even really work? It works and it's amazing and it's so easy that even my kids can do it. So it has different change, change outs that you can put in it. I'm just doing the basic cookie today, the basic round cookie. So one tip that I'm gonna tell you is I use, um, the kitchen spritzer on it first with a little bit of olive oil and I just spray the cookie blades with it just to prevent the dough from sticking. That's worked for me, so that's what I do. Okay, so this is how easy it is. Look at that! When I had one cookie flying. But look, it's like the perfect circle of a sugar cookie. And did you see that? That was like in less than two seconds. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sugar cookies ready to go. And then the other thing that I want to show you are these cookie mats. They are amazing. So they already have uh, cookie shapes on there depending on what size. And I love these because it is a nonstick mat, so it keeps your cookie sheets looking clean and new. You don't have to mess with any of those cooking sprays that ruin your pan. The other thing that I love about them is that they are easy to store. They roll up really nicely, so I just leave them like that in my drawer. They don't take up space, and they keep my pans looking nice and new. And then on the back, if you want really big cookies, they have this circle, these circles to follow. So it's the perfect, perfect cookie guide. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is the adorable Pampered Chef cookie cutter line. They have them for all the holidays. So when it's Halloween, you wanna snatch up the Halloween ones. And when it's Christmas, you wanna snatch up the Christmas ones. But they are so much fun and the cookies turn out really cute and my kids love decorating them. So they have the spring line, they have the emoji line, the Halloween, and the Christmas one. There's a cute little elf. But what I love about them is that they all stack on top of each other. So you don't have all those cookie cutters that are different shapes that don't go anywhere, that get stuck in your drawer, that get lost, you can't find what shape you want. They're all the same shape but a different design on every one. So now I wanna show you how cute these cookies turn out. We're gonna do a Halloween because I'm getting ready for my daughter's Halloween party and these are always a favorite. Okay, a common question that I get asked all the time on these uh, cookie cutters is, does the face really turn out? Yes, it does. And I will show you after I bake it that the face is still there to decorate. So tip, you're gonna wanna flour the cookie cutters first before sticking it in your dough. So I just stick it in my flour, shake it off, and then this one is a Frankenstein. So we'll start by doing Frankenstein. So easy, make them with your kids. My kids love making these with me. And then when my kids are frosting them, I actually like to do the frosting and melt it in the microwave just a little bit so it becomes like a liquid. And I put them in those condiment bottles and they can decorate them that way so that it doesn't just frost right over the picture. So that's something I like to do. Or you can also use the chocolate drizzler and put frosting in this and they can use it like a pen and outline the faces. Wouldn't these be so fun at any Halloween function? Or neighbor gifts? 
I'm gonna cut out some more and pop them in the oven and then I'll show you. Okay, the last must have cookie item is the cookie scoop. If you don't have these, you need them. They come in three different sizes depending on what size of cookie you want. This is the medium size, this is the mini, the smallest size, and then they have an even bigger size. But I absolutely love these. So this size would go along with these little circle cookies. This one goes along with these ones. And then the bigger one is that size of cookie. But look how easy it is. So if you're just making regular cookies, whatever it is, snickerdoodles, chocolate chip, pumpkin chocolate chip, you scoop it in, fill up your scoop like that, and then you just click it, and it's in like a perfect little ball. So you don't even have to touch the dough. And then when it melts, you'll get that perfect cookie look that's not smashed down or misshaped. And then this one, I love this one for mini cookies, but I also use this for frosting. So whenever I'm doing like a party for my kids' class or um, we like to do kids' craft day here where we do a lot of frosting, I this is the perfect size. This is the perfect amount of frosting to give a kid to frost a cookie. So then I can just go around and just scoop out the frosting to each kid. It's quick, easy, and you don't give them way too much. So these are definite must-haves in your kitchen. Seven minutes, my cookies are done. If you do not have these oven mitts, I highly recommend getting them. They are silicone, and so they cover your forearm. Most of my burns happen on my wrist or my forearm, but the reason why I love these so much is because I like to make homemade syrups, I love canning, but these are great because you can literally stick your hand in a boiling pot and stir the syrup and not get burned. Like they're completely protected and then they wash off so easy in water and they've got grippers. So these are my all time favorite oven mitts. Okay, but my cookies are done. Look how great they turned out. So this is why I love these cookie mats so much is because it's such a pain to scoop off hot cookies without breaking them to put them on the cooling racks. But this way they can just cool right on the mats. So I just take them right over and just pull the mat off and then the cookies can cool on the mat and you don't have to worry about breaking them or scooping up hot cookies and you don't want to leave them on the pan because then they'll continue to bake and you don't want that either. So check out my adorable cookies. They turned out so great and again we have these cookie cutters for every holiday. So these are all the supplies that you need in your kitchen this holiday season, season to make cookie making easy, fun, and cleanup is a breeze. You just scoop it all up. You don't have flour everywhere. It's all contained. It's amazing. So remember these tools, and if you see anything that you like, um, First, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be continuing to review products as new, one comes, new ones come out. The next one I'm really excited to do is the Gingerbread Houses. Pampered Chef came out with a whole kit to make that happen. Um, so stay tuned for that. But subscribe to my channel and if you want any of these products that you saw today, just scroll down to my direct link and it will be shipped right to your house. Hope you enjoyed cooking cookies with Pampered Chef and me.